So hello everyone. Today I want to show you my avatar druid. Yeah, I think it worked out pretty great. I had a lot of fun with it. And yeah, so I decided to, to make a little build guide out of it. Um, I will start with with like um, the the skills and the stats. Then I will show you my gear. Then my murky and the end I will show you some mapping footage from my stream. Um, yeah, I hope you, you guys enjoyed. And now we begin with the skills. So let's let's start with the summoning tree. Um, the summoning tree you have like the generic options, you know, you, you go like one point wonders in like the wolves and the grizzly, it's your tank, and get all three oaks, like one point either. In the end you can decide if you want to get some extra points in Oak Sage, but yeah, that's up to you. I will uh, talk about that on the elemental tree. Again, shape shifting is empty and elemental. Yeah, Our main damage comes from Flame Dash and from Hurricane and from Amagadam too. Um, yeah, so you max Flame Dash and you max his synergy, which is Molten Border, so you go 20 points in each each skill. And obviously you max Hurricane. And now you, you can decide what what uh, what bonus you max. I actually choose Arctic Blast, because I use it as a boss killer. Because you will see later in, in the gear section that I have cold for set sockets, so this actually does a lot of damage. You see it's like 9.7 to 11.1k uh, damage. But you also can go into Tornado and, and make that like your boss killer or you can kill like fire cold immunes with this. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm getting the one point wonder still does a huge damage even with one point, so get one point into it. And yeah, that's that's like the like the standard tree. And with the rest of the points, you either can skill another uh, synergy, like either tornado or twister, or you put the rest of the point in, in oak sage. Yeah, when we talk about stats, you obviously want like 156 strength to to wear your phoenix, like your end game shield, zero points in dex. I recommend uh, putting points in it until you reach like 1.6 to 1.9k life and the rest goes into energy because energy gives damage to flame dash which is your main damage source. Yeah, let's see how much damage I have. How much life I have. I I got 1.7k with my gear. All right. So so let's look at the gear then. Um well, let's talk about the the breakpoints real quick. Like what what your goal is to reach like 99 FCR. That's your breakpoint you want to reach to to feel good with Flame Dash. And I recommend also getting the 99 FHR, the faster hit recovery breakpoint too, because it, it helps with survivability. Like yeah, obviously makes your rest. You know, the more the better. Even uh, in the new map system. If you're overcapped, it's 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 better than than not overcapped. Um, okay, the gear. So as the weapon, you want a Hodo, pretty generous caster weapon. You could also um, try Silence to get the cleansing aura, but it's a bit a little bit difficult to meet your FCR requirements. Then as the helm, I use the Jalats. Um, three open socket, socket with three cold facets. Uh, you also could use a Shaco, two open socket or, or Raven Lore for, for the fire damage. But I think the Jalas is, is the most rounded option because of the faster hit recovery. It helps you to reach your break points without like expensive skillers. Um, yeah, for your, for your armor you also have a lot of choices you can make. Like I choose the Arcane Swallow because it has like has like naturally fast hit recovery on it. Um, to reach my breakpoint, I suck at one shell in it for more fast hit recovery and recall for sets. 
Um, yeah, you can also use a four open socket viper. You could use a four open socket almost for damage. You could use a four open socket gladiator's bane even if you want to be tanky, tanky, tanky. But I think Arcane's is the best pick here if you can get one. You can also use Enigma or Chains of Honor. Like it's up to you. You have to try it out. The best setup. This is what I uh, what I gun. Uh, what I find the optimal option, but there are different options you can use. <clears throat> Gloves, pretty much just just mage fist, try to get 10 RS corruption. Shield, end game option, Phoenix, get a lot of damage, you get the redemption aura. Um, gives a lot of sustain, survivability. And yeah, the main thing is the redemption aura because the build is pretty mana intensive. And this helps a lot to to avoid chugging mana ports all the time. Um, until you get a Phoenix, you can use a Storm Shield or you can use a Spirit. But like I said, you will have mana problems, believe me. <laughs> For the shoes, you can use pretty much everything. The main thing is you have 10 um, cooldown reduction on it. I sold mine, so I don't have it anymore. But in the mapping footage, I will have something on. You can use World Traveler, you can do all the rest. You can use a wrap hair, it doesn't even really matter at all. Like the main thing, um, you have cooldown reduction on it. Belt, you can use Eric for faster cast rate and the plus all skills, but you could also use uh, Vadangos for, for more survivability. Depends how much FCR you have, again. For the rings, I have like shitty rings. Like I have two FCR rings, nothing crazy. Um, optimal, you want like a wisp projector, corrupted with FCR, maybe a clean one. And like for the second turn, you want the BK. BK would be good. Amulet, Maras, I choose Maras at least. You could also go with like a plus three elemental skills, amulet or plus four if you can get one. Yeah, that's that's about the 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 gear. For the charms, obviously. Everything elemental skillers. If you can get your hands on elemental skillers with fast hit recovery, you are more flexible on your gear. So yeah, go for fast hit recovery, grand charms, or life skillers. Like that's your choice. Like the torch and any setup which every build uses, and the rest of the charms should be life. FHR <clears throat> and the rest you need to cap yours. So that's about the gear here. And now we come to the, the Merc part. Okay, like Merc survivability in maps is a science. You know, I tried a hundred setups, I don't know. This is the thing that worked for me. Um, he uses Infinity. Pretty, pretty big item. You know, you do like um, different elemental damage. And uh, this is a huge damage boost, so I could recommend get Infinity as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I'm using a 3 open socket shaft stop and a 1 open socket steel shade to reach my pack points. Yeah, it's, my Merc isn't even optimal because you see he's not capped on res. So optimal you want like Iris, um, Rest jewels in it to cap the rest, but but he pretty much survived in my setup, so should be fine. So that was about the skills, stats, and gear and merc. You know, I will write up everything in the comments so you can you can read them up. And now we start with some mapping footage. I will show you musty crypt map, musty crypt map, because everybody shows you a thief, uh, ruined citadel map. Because it's like the best map for, for Avatar Druid at all. Because you got no fire immunes, high density, pretty cool to play. But I'll show you Master Crypt map first. And after that I'll show you Ruined Citadel 2. So you, 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 will, you will see how crazy these maps are. But all in all this build can run every map. On the other maps you have to be a little more careful. Because the fire immunes are a little bit tankier. And the fire immunes are all, also the... The reason why, why I choose to get um, code for sets because so you can buff your 
her can damage and can deal with them more easily. I have like 5.8k to 6.3 because your flame dash damage is pretty high from the beginning. Yeah, before I want to start with the maps, I forgot you could also lose a Raven Law for sure. Raven Law is like a, a, a good choice too to buff your flame dash damage. Whatever. So, I told you everything I know. If you have any more questions about the build, you can come to my Twitch channel. It's skills underscore 404 and can ask questions, watch me playing PUD. And now enjoy the map, it, map footage.